Hi, Stephen Keith with Brownells here, and we're at the Rock Island Auction House to bring you another gun from the vault. Today we have the original 44 Auto Mag, and what a magnificent pistol this is. It is huge. It fires a 44 caliber round, a rimless 44 Magnum for all intents and purposes, and it was quite a potent package in its day. Now these guns were made, uh, they were designed with, by Harry Sanford back in California uh, with the help of a lot of other people. He had a lot of collaboration on this and his original company folded and others came up. This has been in production about half a dozen times if not more. And that's uh, way too much to go into here. So let's just talk about the basic gun. This is a rotary bolt, semi-automatic, um, holds seven or eight rounds, I think. Got a good capacity on it. It's mainly known for being ahead of its time and for its incredible good looks. This is a good looking gun. It really is with that bit, bent, bent rib and the lines, the actual grip lines. What do you think this thing weighs? Oh, I'd say a good three pounds. Three, three and a half? Yeah, that's a whole lot of gun. Close to four pounds loaded. And it's, it's a full power 44 Magnum. So it'll take spots off of walls or walls off of spots. It'll do the business. Bust a car block. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Now, are these right here, this is recoil spring? Yes. Right there? Yes, they are. Okay. Now, this gun was also popularized by Hollywood in a Sudden Impact, oh, yeah. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. That was the gun I he used that in that movie. movie. That was that. pretty cool. And the, the lines of this gun is pretty, pretty sleek. Now, something that I've noticed that's kind of amazing that you won't see anymore is that this gun was made in Pasadena, California. That's the original run. Yep. That's yeah. where they started out. That's a 180 series. So that's is uh, that's the uh, prototype basically. Things have changed since this gun come out. I understand they're in production again now. Yes, they are. Um, with newer materials, better machining processes. So you can actually go out and buy a new auto mag now. Um, I don't know what they cost, but I'll bet you they're not cheap. We'll find out at SHOT Show this year. That's right. I was looking at them at SHOT Show last year, and they are built beautifully, just like these originals were. The quality went up and down through the years, depending on who was making them and who was uh, supervising, but uh, all in all, they're considered a very solid pistol. A lot of them are still being shot today. So that's the 44 Auto Mag, and we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for having us out here and letting us examine this and all the other guns we've been looking at today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again when we bring you another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.